Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with today's problem of the day. Today's problem name is node at the distance. So we have been given a binary tree with the nodes n and a positive integer k. The task is to count the number of special nodes. So okay, let us see what is the definition of special node. A node is considered special if there exists at least one leaf in its subtree so that the distance between the nodes and the leaf is exactly okay. Let us read again. Any such node uh, should be counted only once. For example, if node is at distance k from two or more, okay. Okay, so if there is a node which multiple leaf nodes from the same distance, right? So we have to consider it one time. We have to say this. So for this case, you can clearly see that the output is two. An explanation they are taking is that we have leaf, no leaf node as four and five. So at a distance two, this is this is distance one. This is distance two, right? So for for four, I can see the answer is one. So for five also, this and the answer is one. But we have to take just one instance, right? So we'll get one answer. Let's say node three. Uh, let us say what they are given the reasons. One for the leaves with values four, five, and seven. Okay. So, ah, uh, four, five, or seven. Say, boy, one answer is coming. That is the node one. But we have to take one time. That is why we have count as one. And similarly for this leaf node eight. We have a node present at two distance or k distance is three and that's why our output is two. Okay, so this question we can do. We can do how we can do it. For each and every leaf node, for each and every leaf node, right? Or, or what we can find is that for each and every node, for each and every node, if it is k distance from the leaf, then we will add it in our answer or we will say, let's say like answer plus plus, right? But I can clearly see that one is at k distance from four, five, and seven. So I cannot increment my answer three times. I just want to increase it one, one, right? So if that a particular node is at k distance, then we will add that particular answer in a hash set. Because duplic duplicity allow nahi karta hai. Agar three bara one add karoge, tabhi ek ek bari one add hoga. And that is why at the second step we we'll use a hash set and we we'll just return the set dot size. Okay, the two things. Two things we need to code now for every node. How to code? Uh, how to write the code so that or or how to traverse the code? How to write the code? Right? So you can do anything. Like in order code, write or you can write pre-order or you can write post-order or you can write level order. Whichever order you are comfortable with, you write it. Right? And for each and every node, you will have a function. Let's say is valid, is valid, which will take two parameters. That is the node which we have passed and the k. Right? So how the is valid function will look like? एक छोटे से ट्रिक के लिए ड्राइंग करते हैं हम हमारे पास वन है टू है एंड देन वी हैव फोर राइट एंड वी हैव फाइव हम इस ट्रिक के लिए ड्राइंग करते हैं वी आर चेकिंग फॉर नोड वन दिस नोड अगर इसके लिए कर लिया तो यार बाकी सबके लिए भी कर ही लेंगे राइट सो वी विल हैव अ फंक्शन इज वैलिड व्हिच विल टेक द पैरामीटर्स रूट एंड व्हिच विल टेक द पैरामीटर्स के राइट सो हियर द के वैल्यू वुड बी टू राइट एंड सिंस वी आर वी विल डेफिनेटली मेक अ रिकर्सिव कॉल टू द लेफ्ट सो व्हेनेवर वी आर मूविंग Left, so let's let's decrement the value by one. So k equals to one, right? So that means, okay. So let us do the traversal first. So from two, I'll go to four, and again the k value would be zero. And I can see if this is a leaf node, if if we have reached the leaf node, and then and there if k is also equal to zero, then and there I would say that I have found my answer return true. That is, this is a valid node. ठीक है तो छोटा सा pseudo code लिखने कोशिश करते हैं depending upon the draw in which we had just made. So I will call uh in this body i'll i'll call the function root comma k minus one or oh no, root dot root dot left comma k minus one similarly i'll call function root dot right of k minus one right up the queer up is my cat or concept of w plus w minus w cat all right so skill a or separate base case be like let's say root dot left equals equals to null and and मैं थोड़ा सा स्क्रॉल करता हूँ ऊपर यार एंड एंड रूट डॉट राइट इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू नल आप हैंड राइटिंग समझ लेना यार ठीक है रूट डॉट राइट ऑल्सो इन क्वेश्चन देन इन दैट केस आई जस्ट से दैट वॉट डू यू डू यू रिटर्न माई के इज इक्वल इक्वल टू जीरो और नॉट इफ इट इज देन यू रिटर्न ट्रू इफ इट इज नॉट यू रिटर्न फॉल्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट केस विल ऑल्सो बी देयर दैट इफ यू हैव हिट द नल कंडीशन राइट दैट मीन्स द ट्री वॉज लाइक दिस टू फोर एंड फाइव Or let us say just one and two, right? And k was given to us two, so here the k would be two, 
I'll go left, K would be my one, I'll go one more left and I can see I hit a null, right? And K was still not non-zero, right? So in that case, I'll just say fruit equals equals to null, I will return false. Okay? ठीक है तो इनमें प्लस प्लस माइनस अब बेटर कौन सा साइन डालें यार वो डिसाइड कर लेते हैं सो आई कैन सी दैट देयर कुड बी अ सिनेरियो ऑफ मल्टीपल लीफ नोट लाइक राइट में भी लेफ्ट में भी लीफ नोट एंड वी हैव अ राइट लीफ नोट एज वेल राइट बट वी जस्ट वांट वन आंसर राइट अगर किसी एक लीफ नोट से भी हमारा आंसर मिल गया है राइट right? तो हम कह देंगे कि इज वैलिड इज ट्रू राइट सो आई विल जस्ट से रिटर्न ऑल दो आई मेकिंग आई विल बी मेकिंग दिस कॉल फॉर बोथ द लेफ्ट एंड राइट बट मेरे को किसी एक से भी आंसर मिल गया तो मैं कह दूंगा ट्रू जैसे In this case, I have found an answer, found an answer from this four two, right? So say, and then and there I will stop the things because there is an OR operator, and we had a true, right? Okay, so let me give you one more example where we do not have a left child and only have a right child, right? And then how the recursion will look like? Like for this case, k equals to two, and then I do a left traversal uh, while decrementing my k by one, so k equals to one. I will again do a left traversal. Is it? I'll do it now. So I'll not do a left traversal, and you can clearly see that the false has been returned. And similarly, I'll go for the now right hand side. Correct? Ha. So if I'm right hand side, then we'll complete the right traversal call, and I can clearly see the k will be zero for this point because the parent call has for this two we had k equals to one, and I can clearly see it will hit the base condition that is it is a leaf child and k equals zero, so it will return true, right? So true or false will give you true. So that's it. And that's how the traversal would be made. So, and that is why we need an OR operator here, right? किसी भी दो direction से हमें एक जगह से true आना चाहिए, and that is we can say that the root is valid. ठीक है यार, तो please pause this video here and try to code this solution by yourself. I hope you have done the coding. Now let me give you a code walk through. Mm, okay, so I'll explain you this code, how this code is written. So first of all, what we have done, what we have done is. That uh, in the main function we have a hash set, we have a DFS. This is nothing but I am doing in order here. I am returning the set dot size, right? We are calling the DFS function that is just traversing all the nodes. You can even use I said pre order, post order, level order, anything, right? So this is uh, in order traversal. So we call for left, right? Then instead of printing the root in an in order, we are checking if that root is valid. If it is valid, we are adding that particular root in our hash set. Then we are making a call for right hand side. That is clear. Now is valid function is the same as I've showed you in the dry run, so I'll not explain it again. And this would be your entire code, correct? So I have shown you a dry run for the smallest tree possible. And in tree, जब भी हम tree या या inter में जब भी कोई question tree दिया जाए, तो आप छोटे टेस्ट से लिए dry dry run करो यार. And I have the recursive leap of faith कि बाकी बड़े cases के लिए भी चल जाएगा. But ठीक है. अगर आप इस छोटे cases satisfied नहीं हो, तो आप एक दो cases और try करना. Must try one or two cases by your own. And then once you're fully satisfied, please go ahead and code the solution in your code editor. So let us hit the compile and send button for this code. While it is submitting and compiling, what is the time and space complexity? So we are actually calling a DFS, right? So it will take O of n, visiting all other three nodes, and O of height of three as space complexity. It would be time, it would be space. Now each and every DFS, what it is doing, it is calling again an is valid function. Now this itself is iterating in all the nodes of the subtree. In the worst case, I can say it would again take O of n, right? So O of n into O of n would give you O of n square, and in the space complexity, definitely we're using O of height of the tree for this recurs recursion, and we're also using a hash set. So it would be O of height of tree with O of n. Oh, that would be the okay. So thank you, Mr. O of n square. Okay, great. Let us see the solution got submitted. The solution got submitted. Great here, but definitely there could be some optimization as well. Please try to do that as well, and let us meet again in the next video. So keep on, keep going, bye bye, and take care, guys. One last thing here, I'm seeing now. Many of you are watching the videos, and I can see the 70% of the uh, viewers have not yet subscribed the channel. So please subscribe, kar do, yar. One uh, button, basically, to press. It will give me a bottle. And okay, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.